Hey, it's Ryan from RobRob.com, and in this video, we're gonna walk through how to set up Google Alerts in three easy, simple steps. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about six ways that I've used Google Alerts to grow my own blog's traffic. But first of all, what are Google Alerts? Google Alerts are free notifications from Google delivered to your inbox or through an RSS reader, letting you know when specific terms that you set are being mentioned across the web. Essentially, they let you constantly monitor the internet for these terms that you're personally interested in. And as a blogger, one of the best ways you can use Google Alerts is to monitor opportunities for weighing in with your own advice, finding guest posting opportunities, and much more that we'll talk about at the end of this video. But for now, let's walk through step-by-step -step the three easy steps to setting up Google Alerts right now. The very first step in setting up a Google Alert is to make sure you're signed into your Google account. Now, if you're signed into Gmail, Google Calendar, any of their other tools online already, then you will be already primed, ready to go. So the very first step then is to go to google.com slash alerts. As you'll see right here in my address bar, google.com slash alerts, and you'll see this very simple search panel right here. And under alerts, the tagline, monitor the web for interesting new content. So. I wanna do an example of creating an alert about the term blogging. So I'll type in the word blogging, and then I'll see a preview of what a Google Alert email could look like um, based on the frequency that I wanna set for an alert to come out about blogging related topics. And based on how this preview looks, I can get maybe a little bit more refined um, and let's say I wanna get an alert specifically about food blogging because I don't want tons of other topics coming into my inbox related to blogging. And as you'll see here, the results do get more and more narrow. But let's go back for the sake of this example, type in blogging, and before I create the alert, I want to click on show options because I wanna control how many of these Google alerts I get. Um, I, I want them at most once a day, but if you have a topic that's very relevant to your industry, you're covering news, you wanna get content published fast, maybe you'll select as it happens. So you, you get a Google alert as soon as a piece of news breaks or a topic gets mentioned around the web, you have the opportunity to cover it right away. But I want once a day, this is gonna be the probably the most typical option that you should choose. And sources, you can actually select from a wide range of different types of sources. Um, I choose automatic just because I wanna have kind of a diverse sampling. I don't wanna put too many parameters around what types of sources I want to allow my Google Alerts to be about, but you could select just news, you could select just blogs, you could select anything just web only, um, but by choosing automatic, you leave this open to all options. And Language, self-explanatory, you can select from a wide variety of languages to get your alerts in, and you can select by region. Um, I allow for any region, typically on all of my Google alerts, how many, only the best results, or all results. That's a dangerous slippery slope right there, so I choose only the best results typically, and then you can select your email address or an RSS feed, and you're ready to go. So then you'll click Create Alert. Boom. There we go. So now I'm gonna get a Google alert for blogging related mentions uh, once a day delivered straight to my inbox. Now that you've got your Google alerts set up, let's talk about a few tangible ways in which you can use those alerts to actually grow your blog and get some measurable, meaningful results going as a result. Number one, Google Alerts are a source of endless ideas for new content. Maybe you see a mention about WordPress out there and there's a major update or some news in the industry. That's an opportunity for you to write about that breaking news story. Or maybe a Google Alert mentions something that just sparks an idea, something creative on the spot that comes to mind that gives you some content to write about on your site. Number two, Google Alerts give you an opportunity to spot unlinked mentions of your name, your site, your brand, your product, your services online. So let's say that a website writes about your service offering and they don't actually link to you. They just talk about how great you are and you get none of that SEO juice out of the mention. That's an opportunity for you to spot that mention as it comes through in Google Alert and reach out to that website, that publisher, and ask them if they can link to your website. I've done this many times and it's by far one of the lightest weight ways to get more juice out of your blog by just monitoring some Google Alert mentions as they come through.
Number three is spotting guest posting opportunities. If you have a competitor out there in your niche who seems to just be everywhere and they're getting their content published on all these sites that you'd love to get featured on as well, set up a Google alert following their name or their blog's name and you'll see every single time that they get a guest post featured on one of those sites that you would also like to be published on. And that gives you opportunities to chase down the same exact sites in your niche where you can then pitch on guest posting opportunities yourself by taking a new angle and pitching an idea that's going to be relevant to these websites where they clearly already have a need and a desire for this type of content within your space. Number four, answering questions in your niche. Maybe you see a Google alert come through your inbox and someone's blogging about a problem they have and you can weigh in with a comment on their post sharing a helpful answer based on your own experiences, your own skill set, and perhaps that kind of a process can lead to then creating a more comprehensive article on your blog or shooting a YouTube video about the topic and sharing it out more broadly with an audience that's going to be primed for wanting those answers too. Number five, protecting your own intellectual property online. So if someone is out there using your brand name or claiming to know you or saying things about you that are untrue, then monitoring your brand brand name with Google Alerts is a great way to spot those kinds of mentions as they happen in real time and nip a problem in the bud before it grows into something that could possibly damage your name. And finally, number six, simply monitoring your competitors. Build out a roster of Google Alerts based on what your competitors are doing online. You're not only going to see what they're doing, where they're getting mentioned, how people are talking about them, what everyone has to say in your space, but you'll also see the topics they're covering on their blog. And that that will give you ideas for ways that you can show your own unique advantage within your niche and swoop in with better content ideas or taking a more comprehensive angle to something they've talked about on your blog spot opportunities. Don't simply chase everything your competitors are doing, but use it as inspiration for ways that you can provide better, more comprehensive, more unique, more targeted answers for your audience. All right, that's it for this quick video. Happy monitoring out there. Set up the right Google alerts. Don't be afraid to edit them if it's too much or add new ones when you want to monitor some new terms out there. Good luck.